What's up, everyone? So uh, I'm going to bring you this tool today that's called Social Mapper. It's a facial recognition software program. It goes and takes a picture of someone that you uh, that you have that you put into the program for it to scan, and it finds that person on I think eight different social media platforms. You can choose to do just how many platforms you want them to search on. You can do one all the way up to eight. Uh, right now, let's uh, let's take a look a little bit about Social Map before I get into it. Um, tell you a little bit more about it. You can get it from the GitHub.com. Um, Greenwolf is the guy who created wrote the program. Social Mapper. It's a uh, facial recognition. It's an open source intelligence tool that uses facial recognition to correlate social media profiles across different sites on a large scale. So you can have it loot through LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram, like Contact, Weibo, and Dubin. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. You can uh, use cases why why you want to run this. All right, so it, it was mainly designed for for penetration testers and red teamers that work in the cybersecurity industry. Uh, they, that they you know companies hire them to try to hack their company so they what they'll do is hire them and uh, only the like the CEO and the CFO um, will, will or the C, CTO or something like that will CIO too will know about them not none of the employees uh, will know about these people that's trying to hack so what the they're hired to do is they're hired to come in gather information about some of the employees Try to send them phishing emails to see if they click on the emails to see if they give out information about the company, uh, how much information they can get. So that's what this is really designed for. But like anything, bad guys can use it too. So I'm gonna go over that part. Um, so if a bad guy, if he wants to use it, they can they can create fake social media profiles by using the pictures they find or these other profiles. And what they'll do is. Uh, They'll try to friend the targets and send them links of malware. So uh, if you get like links in your messages and stuff by hey, register for this or, you know, uh, click on this link, you can win this, or win free money, win gift cards, all that's a scam. All those are hoaxes, scams. I would advise you not to click on them. Um, as it says, recent statistics show social media users are more than twice as likely to click on links and open documents compared to those delivered by email. Now, it can also trick users into closing their emails and phone numbers with like vouchers they can send and offers to make the pivot into phishing, vishing, or smishing. So these terms right here, you can look those up. They're uh, terms that cybersecurity people use to uh, different attack methods. Create custom phishing campaigns for each social media site, knowing that the target has an account. Make these more realistic by including their profile picture. So, like, I can create an account and I can get their profile picture from the picture I just gathered from their profiles, right? And then use them. Um, so, yeah, you can, you can just imagine what different ways you can go about using this uh, as a bad guy. So, to uh, install it, they have the instructions down here to install. I'm not going to get all into that. If you want to know more about that, shoot me a message and maybe I can get hooked up with you and go about maybe do a uh, live Zoom video, get into like a Zoom classroom or something like that and go through the steps of installing it on your machine. Right here, I'm just going to show you how it works and how it pulls from facial recognition. So after going through all that, I'm going to close this out. So, before I start it up, let's go to the social mapper folder. Right here, you have your Python. It's running off of Python, which is a programming language, kind of like Java, C Sharp, C. Yeah, you know, programming language tells the computer what to do. You're basically talking to the computer. So, Python, it runs off of Python. You have your modules in here that these are your facial recognition software modules. It goes through all these uh, Facebook Finder, Facebook Finder, Dubin, Twitter, Instagram, all that. It goes through all them for the face recognition. So say I gather some pictures up. So here's my here's my folders that 
my image folder that it's going to pull from. And these are this is a whole folder that I created that I have pictures in here of uh, I did tests on just to see you know how well it works. So you know I got Bill Gates, Kelly, uh, Linus Torvalds, uh, Steve Jobs, and me. And then uh, my image folder, the ones that I'm going to use is Christine and Caitlin. Uh, I do have their permission to use these photos, so uh, this, this is all ethical right now. Uh, and I asked them first, so it's all good. But that's the folder that you put your pictures in that you want the facial recognition to scan their faces to use. As you see, it's just using their first names. On that note, we'll go back. Uh, you have a README file right here, which uh, you open that up after you get it, you know, all that installed. It, this is just an instruction sheet tells you basically what I just showed you on that web page, just word for word from that. For kind of like notes to go back on, it even has your commands. So like it, I'll show you in the command line when I get ready to start this up, when you type in your stuff to get it going. This is the uh, commands that you'll be putting in to if you want to scan all the... Uh, the, the social media sites, you can do uh, TAC A or TAC TAC All, uh, TAC Facebook, you know, Twitter, Instagram, all that. Uh, these are the different modes you can run in, the format of it, the input and the mode. You can do fast, accurate. Uh, accurate is a more slower search, but it's more likely to pull the exact match of that person. Uh, fast is a real fast scan. It, it, just scans the targets and tries to find the face, just not by scanning the whole thing completely, but it's just the fact. It's just what it does what it says. Uh, okay, so after going over all that, these are your setup files, which I don't have to go through none of that. So uh, we'll start a uh, terminal up and we'll start this thing up. So uh, I need to change my directory into the social mapper folder. So you do uh, CD and then uh, social underscore mapper, and that should bring you into that directory for social mapper. You know, when you're on your command line like this, you also do a ls to show to list the directories inside of that. And this will list everything that was just in that where I pulled up from the file. You got your uh, Gecko driver input examples. So like you know, I can do uh, change directory input. Examples. Now I'm in the input examples directory. Now you can list in there. And then you have your image folder. So let's change to that. So this is just another way that you can look at inside of the uh, folders from the command line. And you can do ls into that one. And you can see there's our pictures Christine, JPG, Caitlin, JPG. All right, so uh, let's back out of those directories back into social mapper the main one all right so from here I have the uh, command line I saved for the demo already saved in this text editor I'll go over the command line when I put it in I'm gonna highlight it I'm gonna copy it and then paste it so what this command line is telling this to do is start up Python it wants to run the social mapper program in Python the uh, format is going to be in the image folder and the info is going to pull from is going to go through the root folder through the social mapper so your root folder it's going to find the social mapper folder and it's going to go look in for the input examples and then look into that image folder and it's going to pull those two pictures out of that image folder and scan those images for the facial recognition the mode the tac m is the mode that's going to be in which is fast and then we're just going to do, I got a scan of Facebook and Instagram, but I'm just going to do a real quick example. So I'm just going to do an Instagram. Uh, so it's just going to scan Instagram for those two images and try to pull their profiles from that. So on that note, I'm going to hit enter. And you'll see it start up here in just a second. What it's going to do is try to log in. So the Instagram pay, login page got loaded successfully. And my Instagram login was a success. So when you create, when you when you're loading up the social mapper, and 
one of the files in that main folder right there that you go into for Social Mapper, you got to go in one of those files and either set up a, a fake account with all these accounts they have, or you can use your real accounts and just put in your login information. You know, you need to put in your username and password because what it does is it logs into your account. That's what it just did. It logged into my Instagram account. And then it's using the facial recognition software running in my Instagram account right now. Like I can go on my Instagram account. I can log into it and play around on it. This is running all in the background on the Internet. So right now, if you see, it's doing an Instagram check. One of two. One out of two pictures. It's running her first. Uh, we're going to let this run. We're going to come back here in a second and check it out and see what it pulls. All right, so we're back now, and it's finished the scan on the first picture. Now I'll scan the second picture, two of two. And once it's done, it should give us our results underneath here. So let's wait for this. All right, so now it's done finished the scan on the Instagram profiles. You see it's pulled the results right here, the links to their profiles. So just by using that picture named Christine it pulled this one so we can go here and right click on these and open the link to them and you can also go to the social mapper file and look at the results in this other document I'll show you both ways um, shows you how long it took to pull which was five minutes 34 seconds uh, the results was is in this file right here the HTML file this is the results for that so we can uh, right click open the link to this one to show you so there's a profile pulled off of her right click on that one open link and that's the profile pulled off of her uh, we can also go to these like I said you can go inside of the social mapper and get a more detailed thing show you more about it so you want to go to your social mapper results. You have uh, this is the results. It gives you the login, not the login, but the uh, the um, address to their profiles. And then this one right here. All right, so right here, I want to I want to point this out very clearly that these are the pictures I used. These are the profiles that it pulled with the pictures. So you can clearly see these are not the same pictures, but it recognized the face. As you see, facial recognition. That's what it's all about. You can go right here too, and um, you can click right here, and it will take you to their page too. Same thing as the links I showed you in that other one. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, that's facial recognition right there. It's it's still somewhat new technology coming out. Uh, it does have some flaws in it, but for the most part, it works. As you can tell right here from this little demonstration I did. Like, and if I did, if I if I had it running for Facebook and Twitter, Pinterest, you know, it would have it would have dropped them down too. It would have dropped each profile picture into those boxes too of what, on that account. If I had different accounts, um, like I said, I was trying to make this video short. It would have took a little bit longer to scan all the profiles. Just scanning one uh, social media site and pulling them it was a little quick. But if you're doing more than one, it's gonna it's going to take a little bit. You just got to pretty much let it run, walk away, do your thing, come back, and the results will be there. But I was trying to make this video short just to show this. Uh, on that note, that's it. That's how the social map works. Uh, facial recognition. It's out there. Um, you know, they're using it all over the place now. You're hearing more about it in the news. So uh, just be aware of this. Be aware of what I was talking about earlier, too, how... how bad guys the bad people can get this and they can use this to create those fake accounts on uh, Facebook Instagram you know and use your pictures and use your information to trick your friends into you know clicking on phishing links or clicking on different things and uh, 
You know, there's so many different ways they can go about this stuff. But uh, on that note, yeah, I said I'm going to leave it at that. Um, Y'all have a good day. Enjoy yourselves and stay safe.